It's Friday, and it's time for Bottoms Up, the internet's worst beverage tasting review show. I'm Fat Mike, your self-proclaimed YouTube beverage champion. Today we'll be taking a look at Lunatic Fridge by the Toboggan Brewing Company in London, Ontario. If you've seen this show before, you know what it's next, so join along, won't you? Roll intro! So, this is a Indian Pale Ale, and it was brewed, like I said, in London, Ontario, not far from where I am. I was in the liquor store one day, and actually, this caught my eye when I was looking for a new beverage to do for the show. I'm not a fan of Indian Pale Ales. Most of them are way too hoppy for me. I'm more of a lager man myself, if I'm going to drink beer. Cider is where I usually go. But I like to give them a shot, and I try to do these right down the middle, so nobody's ass is over the fire. So, I'm kind of excited. Actually, when I picked this up at the liquor store, the guy in front of me asked me my opinion, and I was this close to telling him to watch this video. <laughs> so, let's pop the top and we'll try this together, shall we? Just like almost all the other beers we've tried on this show, it's a nice golden color. That's about it. There's a bit of head on it that isn't really disappearing anytime soon. I tried to pour it as best as I could, and we still got a bit of a head. So, just to give you a bit of an example, it actually takes a bit for it to go away. But we don't want to look at beer, so we'll do the smell test. That is strong, a really, really strong smell. Hoppy, hoppy, nice hop smell. I like this hop smell a lot. I love the smell of hops. Not a big overly hoppy beer taste fan, which I'm prepared this is gonna be like that because it is an Indian pale ale. I love the aroma to this. That smells delicious. We do not sit here and sniff beer. We drink it here on Bottoms Up. So let's do my favorite, and I hope it's yours, the taste test. So it says here on the can, as you can see while I did it, the hoppy taste tastes different. They say it's from West Coast hops. Maybe that's why it's got a different hop taste than most of the other ones that I've tried. It goes down smooth, that flavor is nice and bold. Most of the IPAs that I have tried have bold, bold flavors. It's the hops. They're really strong, so the bold flavor sticks with you. Goes down smooth. Nice, clean taste. Strong, though. But that's given by the type of beer it is. These hops actually taste different. Next week's episode, I tried a different pale ale, and it's got a completely different taste than this one does. I like it. It's unique. It's unique to what I'm used to trying on this show. It would not convert me to drink Indian pale ales. I'm a lager person. That's who I am. But I like this, and if you are a 
IPA person, highly recommend you try it. It's probably one of the most unique ones that you'll try. It's probably one of the most unique pale ales that I have tried on the show in a while, anyways. It's different. It's different. It's, it's completely different than anything I've tried, or mostly anything I've tried on this show. Beautiful artwork, strong flavor, hoppy flavor, clean taste, though. Give it a try. Highly recommend you try it if you're a hobby beer fan. If not, then wait till the next time I do a longer and maybe you and I will be on the same. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't because you don't like my ugly mug on your screen, you're allowed to give it a thumbs down. <laughs> You don't have to like everything on YouTube. Follow your YouTube beverage champion on Instagram and Twitter. Hit that subscribe button for more videos. I do two a week. Every Friday is bottom stop. Besides that, video games, unboxings, movies, whatever I feel like doing, I do. And until next time, cheers. Thanks for watching.